everyone welcome back to my channel so it's in February holy crap January is already done whoa but today I decided to start off February with a video that is kind of like my tips and tricks on growing out your hair but internally so this video is going to be on the best and worst foods to grow out your hair yes because, I mean, we all like to eat, don't we? Well, most of us. Some of us don't like to eat. I don't know. Anyway, that's all another issue. But this is just going to cover over some foods that are common, some things that <clears throat> are really good for your hair that help promote that hair growth and things that can hinder, which may be why or why not your hair isn't as grow isn't growing as fast as you would like it to grow. So if you'd like to see my list of the top five best and worst foods for hair growth, then keep on watching. All right, so I haven't decided if I want to like say one good, one bad, all good, all bad, I don't know. But just to let you know, my voice, some reason just started cracking when I started recording it. I thought I was over my cold, but apparently when you record your cold wants to come back so yeah um <clears throat> excuse me see if that happens during the video just know that's what's going on so I guess I'm going to start sorry I have all my stuff right here my notes and everything so I will start off with the foods that are the best for you now when I was reading this list I was kind of um I don't want to say like, oh wow, I really don't like those foods. <laughs> a lot of them, I just, I don't like them. So, I mean, there's a couple of them. I don't even think there's like maybe one or two that I actually would eat. But these foods are common. So, you know, more people would eat them than I do. So, one of the first big ones is salmon. Um, I don't personally eat seafood except for like shrimp. So that's not for me. But if you take, um, in substitution for that, I take fish oil. Um, but it's really good because it has fatty acids in it. Or, <clears throat> excuse me. It has, let's see, three fatty acids and it has vitamin D in it. So it's really good for you and it's good for diets and such. So, you know, 2018 just started and if you're trying to get your body right, you can eat some of that. Um, a next one is actually something I would eat, which is yellow peppers. Um, they're good in salads, but <clears throat> it actually contains more vitamin C in it than orange juice. Which is, I thought orange juice was vitamin C central, but yellow peppers is actually even better for you. So eat some yellow peppers. And then another one, ew is actually oysters it's really good if you're experiencing hair loss or hair um, thinning it's good to promote that to bring it back Ugh, I'm not the big oyster eater but they're really good for your hair so just know that eggs of course all the protein everything and um they're just good for you overall if you're vegan or vegetarian I guess yellow peppers so far is the only thing that you would eat um, <clears throat> also another big thing that I didn't know would be good for you is sunflower seeds. They're really good. They promote hair growth. They also have a lot of vitamin A in them. So those are another good, you know, when you're driving down the road and want a snack. And we have sweet potatoes. Those are good for you as well. They are great with vitamin A. They promote hair growth as well. And this was actually more than five. I don't know why I said five. This is eight. Um, avocados are another really good thing. They have essential fatty acids in them. Another thing is that avocado is really good just on the hair as well. So if you want to do a DIY hair mask, I usually use coconut because I'm obsessed with it. So another one is almonds. Um, it helps your hair grow faster. A lot of these foods that promote um, healthy hair growth are... There's not all of them, but they're really high in fatty acids or fatty, fatty acids. Yeah. So you should know that it, it can, with things and high in fat and things like that, high stuff like that, it can, um, like if you eat too many almonds or anything like that, you can experience, you know, a little bit of weight gain, but 
a little bit never hurt nobody well let me not say that maybe it did anyway but those are actually eight of them i think no this is the last one spinach as well it contains vitamin a and c which helps your hair growing healthy spinach is really good so those are the ones those are the top that will help your hair grow like i said a lot of those things on the list are no goes for me but that doesn't mean that they're no goes for you so if you are trying to get your hair healthier grow up and then if you're not taking vitamins like Every day I take biotin fish oil and um, apple cider and another one. I can't remember its name though. Um, I highly suggest you take vitamins as well each day um, if, you, if you're able to. Um, vitamins, I feel like you have to get your insides clean and ready and promote it from the inside to get it on the outside. Does that make sense? So making sure that you take either your vitamins or just eat those foods that really help promote the hair growth will help a lot. So yeah. So let's go to the five worst foods. These foods are not that surprising. They're not. Um, when I was reading them, I was like, duh, of course that doesn't. That's not going to help you. But one of the big ones on here that I know <clears throat> a lot of people are going to be like, mm. Mm, is alcohol um, alcohol you know one or two glasses of wine that's not gonna hurt you it's when you're sitting there and you're constantly drinking every day high amounts it actually <coughs> causes reduction in levels of zinc which is an important material in hair growth so you need to yeah cut down on alcohol else your hair is not I'm not gonna say it's not gonna grow but it's not gonna grow as fast as it possibly could be growing Another one is bleached white flour, which is in a lot of foods. Um, <clears throat> it causes your hair to thin. So instead of getting full curls, you're going to get not so full curls. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Next one, Diet Cokes. I don't, I feel like Diet Coke is so bad for people, but because it says diet, everybody's like, no, it's so much better for you. It's so good. But when you read about it, like, literally, it's it's soda. <laughs> it's so, I don't really know how good soda can be for you. But if you're a firm believer, like, I've seen people who replace their water intake with soda in it. Oh, Lord. If you are not drinking water, you are just not good. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but, yeah, Diet Coke. <clears throat> so it can be toxic the artificial sugar in it can be toxic and hazardous to your health so just cut it back um after a lot of the things what it's bringing up on here is that after a lot of consumption people reported having hair loss so just be careful with drinking soda in general i'm not sitting there saying cut soda yeah i am cut soda out of your diet because i drink it um, but I'm just saying you should definitely be drinking a lot more water than you are soda. Um, even juices and such. Nothing replaces water really. So you need to be drinking as much water as you can. I guess I can go on one of the positives. But just try to cut back on those sugary drinks and sugary things like that. Which is actually the next one on there. Sugar. Which is in almost everything. These are things... <clears throat> If you use sugar, let's see. So it says that sugar messes with the protein. <clears throat> absor absor intake, protein intake. <laughs> um, so cutting back on sugary foods. Also, like I said, it's the beginning of 2018. So if you are trying to do new year, new me, new year, da 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 these little things that you cut out, freaking alcohol, bleach with white flour, diet cokes, sugar. If you were to just cut down, not you don't even have to cut it out, but cut down and replacing it with those positive things, you would obviously promote a healthy body, healthy hair. These are just healthy things. So, just saying. And next, it's so hard for me. I put it on everything. Is salt. Salt. Um, 
Excess sodium has been shown to cause hair to shed excessively, which means your hair is thinning out. So while you're sitting there enjoying that salt on whatever your hair is, not too happy. So just watch what you're intaking to your body and everything. I can't stress it enough. Even me, I literally have to make the conscious decision not to get something and not to use that, which is extremely hard for me because I am a big food addict. I love food. I love flavors. I just... I love it all, so it's harder for me to switch to healthier alternatives in order pr to promote healthy hair growth, to promote healthy hair in general, and to cut back on those things that are literally in almost everything that you get. Um, I found one really easy trick on cutting back on all of those things is to actually just cook your own meals. You know exactly what's going into them. You know what you're using, how much you're using, things like that. When you order it, Sure, on the menu it could be like 330 calories, but what about the sodium? What about everything else, the sugars, everything else? So even though you may think it's better for you because it has one of those little green check marks and stuff like that, you never really know. Um, so I just really suggest cooking your own foods. Now, I'm not a cook. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'll be chefing it up in the kitchen because I literally will go online. I will look up a little recipe. I will go buy the food and I will cook it. But I know what's going into my food. I know how much I'm putting in there. And if I feel like it's too much, I take it out of the recipe. So I feel like that is a big thing that can help um, with that healthy hair journey. That I know a lot of people, when I get messages, it's people who are transitioning into healthy hair journeys. Who are tired of the processing in their hair. Who are just ready to switch back to their natural beautiful curls and just beautiful hair texture in general. Um, so I think starting from within will have those outer appearances looking great as well. If your insides are happy, your outsides are happy. So just making sure that you just watch what you're eating. I can't stress that enough. Um, now, am I saying I'm a perfect eater? Am I saying that you need to cut everything out of your diet? Of course not. But please, just moderation. That's a huge thing. Watching what you eat and eating it in moderation and not in excess amounts. So yes... I will stop talking now, talking everybody's head off, but those are just some of the top foods to eat as well as the worst things to kind of just stay away from. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if so, please do not forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.